Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben R. Ryder. Today we're testing out the Triumph Speed 400 2024 model year. This bike is available in three colors. In this beautiful black, we have a beautiful red, and of course we have a beautiful blue as well. We also have a sister or brother product, which is the Scrambler 400X I test rode this last week. Please have a look at my other video. It handles very nicely. We have smaller tires on this one, or some, a smaller tire here. We have road uh, tires, basically. We have the Pirelli Diablo Rosso on here, 17 inch in the front. That makes the seat height a little bit lower. I like that very much. Uh, the seat height here is 790 compared to 835 for the Scrambler. I'm 175 or 5 foot 9, and I like that actually better. This one here, if it's a little bit lower, and I have a better stand when I come to a stop. So on the left hand side here of the handlebar we have the uh, clutch lever which is uh, yeah it is not too hard not too soft but uh, well it is actually a little bit hard to operate. I can still do it with two fingers or so but still it is not so light as some other bikes but I just wanted to tell you. We have very nice round mirrors, they're very stylish, they, they look very good for this bike and it's good that you don't have to buy them separately. We have the uh, light uh, switch here which is very handy for your index finger. We have the regular low beam here, high beam there and if you push it we have the passing light switch we can also switch it between daytime running light or regular low beam we have the info button here for the display we have the turn signal switch here and we have the horn here on the right hand side we have the throttle here we have the brake lever for the front disc brake we have the uh, emergency cutoff switch here we have a hazard light switch here and we have the starter switch here. The plastics of uh, the controls uh, leave a good impression except maybe for these uh, really shiny red buttons here. All of the other controls leave a very good impression when it comes to quality. They look really good and feel really good. In the middle we have the display which is a very nice combination of an analog gauge combined with a LC display there. It's, it looks very nice, high class, very, everything is very clear, crisp and sharp, easy to see, except maybe for the RPM counter, which is just a bar, a graph, and which is fairly small. I would have liked to have seen the RPM counter as an analog gauge, actually, and maybe the speed as a digital. 
display but okay you know i guess you cannot change that anymore <laughs> we have a very big showing here of the uh, gear which is the gear indicator then next to it we have the uh, already talked about rpm counter bar to the right we have the uh, total mileage we can switch it with the info button we have trip a trip b we have actual fuel consumption average fuel consumption we have the range in kilometers we have traction control we can turn it off when the engine is not running we have a set menu for date time and so forth and uh, that's about it we also have abs on this bike we have traction control as i said we can turn off the traction control underneath we have an indication for side stand is uh, down or extended then we have the uh, sh constant showing of the clock and we have a fuel gauge down below that's uh, of course all these indicator lights we can see in the big round display here uh, they will show about traction control on or off and uh, low oil pressure and stuff like that This is the uh, Triumph Speed 400 2024 model year and we'll take it out for a little ride. Let's go! In order to get things started, we're in neutral. We can just press the starter button and everything works as expected. Currently, as you can see, we have the daytime running light. We can switch it to regular low beam or switch it to daytime running light. Interestingly enough, daytime running light actually has the LC display lit but yeah that's what it is let's switch it to regular light yeah the seating position is definitely lower I can almost flat foot it with 790 millimeters seat height the scrambler has 835 a little bit higher I can only tiptoe on this one so let's put in the first gear and let's get going here the first thing I can tell you already is uh, the jerkiness of the th throttle unfortunately <clears throat> the throttle is a little bit jerky too jerky for me and I wish this would not be there but I guess we have to live with that the seat is in the middle it's not hard it's not soft I think it's quite a good compromise between a sofa seat and a and a garden chair seat <laughs> Of course, when you are at higher speeds, this jerkiness is not so obvious anymore, naturally. Accelerating like a crazy maniac and then there's a police coming our way already <laughs> Yeah, very nice 40 horsepower. I think you can really feel it. I just test rode the, uh, the Honda CB500 Hornet yesterday and It uh, has two cylinders. It has 40 almost 48 horsepower to my feeling to my understanding Of course the sound is different a bit, you know, so it's one and two cylinders but this one also has a lot of power and that's what I just wanted to let you know that this is not bad and no once again it's not bad it's very good it's uh, it's a very good bike for a very very good price I think and so a lot of younger also maybe a lot of younger people will switch or have the Triumph as a first bike why not you know uh, I think that's a good that was a good decision by Triumph definitely Yeah, 
the shifting, the, you know, shifting into gear. Everything works as expected. There's no, there are no problems with it. The handling is very good. It is fairly agile, a little bit more agile than the Scrambler because of the smaller front wheel, front tire. I like that very much. Actually, I appreciate this one a little bit more than the Scrambler. Uh, at higher speeds also it is very straight as it's a very straight runner but it is more agile in the corners and uh, I guess it would appeal to maybe a, a bit more people this one here than the scrambler also because of the seat height maybe at around about 100 the vibration start from the one cylinder which is quite natural and to be expected but if you go all the way up to maybe 120 the mirrors start shaking a little bit they get a, the view gets a little bit fuzzy so that uh, everything is a little bit out of focus not the best but uh, i guess uh, this is just to be expected from a one cylinder and uh, you can feel the vibration of course not only in the mirrors but in the handlebar <coughs> But for regular riding on country roads, where you don't go so fast, I don't think that is a problem. And some people say, okay, a motorcycle has to vibrate. And uh, if, if it does not vibrate, it is not alive. I understand that. Uh, I just wanted to let you know, everything I feel on my test rides, that's why I'm saying it. At higher speed, it is very stable. So also, of course, you can go onto the freeway, highway, that is no problem. You can do it. You have a lot of wind, of course, in your face because it's a naked. Well, there's one thing actually I, I still want to mention in my English video here, which is when you go at highs like from 100, 122 kilometers an hour and you are in sixth gear, I think that's quite amazing because uh, it only has 40 horsepower that still you have quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of torque here as you can see in the sixth gear you don't see that too often and I do really really do like that <laughs> that's what I wanted to add to the test right here as well the only big complaint really that I would have personally if, if I were to buy this bike is the jerky throttle which I don't really like but maybe the dealer can do something about this I'm not really sure I don't know anyways uh, let's keep it fairly short and simple uh, it is definitely a very very nice bike for this price and maybe also to get into uh, riding a motorcycle if you have just acquired a2 license definitely not a bad idea and for five around about 5500 euro on the street a very good deal i would say i can highly recommend it to you i give two thumbs up for it and uh, that should conclude our test right here of the uh, triumph speed 400 thanks very much for watching this is Ben. right out take care bye bye